Hello, my lovelies, and welcome to something new and exciting, Pampering at the Chateau, where I will be doing a bunch of pampering items that I use on my day-to-day -day life. And as you guys know, I used to be beauty therapy trained. So I hope you guys enjoy that and will be able to pamper yourselves at home. So today I will be making a secret serum which I use on my day-to-day -day life and I mix it with my daily moisturizers and it's great. It's actually great not just for your face, for your body, anything like that. You'll learn the basics and then obviously you can mix and match and create your own. Everything I'm doing today is something that I've been collecting and storing in my lovely diary for some time. From food tips to beauty tips and everything else that I've tested and tried and I really love and use every time so don't forget the recipes. This secret serum is based out of very few ingredients and that's what makes it so wonderful and accessible for all. So for this serum you're going to need a simple pump bottle, sterilize it first. Uh, and then uh, some oil. I'm using almond oil in here. Um, you could use a bunch of jojoba oil or things like that. I'll go through the oils, oils later on. I'm also adding some a simple glycerin in there, which helps to soften the skin further and uh, various different um, essential oils in there to help really boost that serum. And that's what makes it so special. Before you begin, obviously you want to lay out and do your creation somewhere where it's comfortable and I'm doing this on my beloved desk which I um, make, make over to recently in one of my previous episodes and I absolutely love it. So do find a place where you feel comfortable. So to begin, we're going to pour all our ingredients into our sterilized pump bottle. So having removed the pump top. We're now going to start pouring the special oil. Okay, so we're going to pour in up to about there. So I want to leave one fifth gap for all our special ingredients. So let's begin. Perfect. Set that aside. Next, we're going to pour in some of that glycerin. And we are going to almost fill it to the top. As you can see, the glycerin and the oil don't mix at the moment because they are different densities. But we'll get round to that in a second. And the last thing we're going to do is add all the special essential oils. Now, you probably have ones that you really like uh, to use in your day-to-day -day or every so often life. So use them if you think they'll benefit you. But the ones I will recommend, which I am using here, is the geranium oil and the lavender, which is a really, really great true classics. And they are fantastic. A few drops of one of each. Okay. 
So now that we have put all our ingredients in this bottle, all that's left to do is put the lid back on and shake it to mix it all the ingredients together and make them combine. So let's do that. And now you see how both the glycerin and the oil have mixed up quite nicely. Now you'll need to shake that up each time you want to use it just before you're going to apply it on your face. After all, you'd want all the best ingredients to be in there, mixed properly together and come out every time the pump is breast. So it's easy and it's simple. So I'll just show you quickly my actual routine after I've washed my face moisturous. I have shown you guys before how to make a toner. I have shown you guys how to make a hydrating hyaluronic acid for your face. And obviously everybody has cream at home for their face too. So my routine is spray the face first to add the moisture on top of the skin. To seal it up, I then put a pump of this, uh, which is the secret serum we just made, I then put a pump of the hyaluronic acid to add extra moisture and then the moisturizer itself to seal it all. Combine it all and then apply it on my face. And that is exactly how I hydrate my face all year long. But this really boosts the benefits each and every time and I use it all throughout all the seasons. And that just really super enhances the facial cream instead of just having a bland basic one. And that's really the secret of it. It's probably the secret of all the really expensive face creams because they already pre-mix it for you. But this, you can do it yourself. And actually, you can have the super boosted strength. You can control and set how strong your super cream is. And like I say, you can use it on your face, or if you're making a bigger batch, you can then use it on your body, which is all beneficial and all oils are great. And this is no simple oil. This is really great now. And here at the Chateau, it's especially important to have everything so well moisturized because it's, it's cold, it's wet, and we just got to get on with outdoor stuff as well as inside. But we all know that we get dry hands, dry face, dry lips and everything. So this is really a great recipe that saves me all year round, especially in winter. The only thing that ever changes is probably the moisturizer, less richer in the summer and more richer in the winter. Okay, so let's set that aside and now let's talk about the variety of um, ingredients you could mix and match of things that you guys have at home that you don't necessarily need to buy to make this, okay? So obviously I used a sweet almond oil. You could potentially use maybe olive oil um, if you like that. Jojoba oil is by far the best. It's also fairly expensive, but the reason it's the best is the molecules of the oil itself are actually smaller than the skin cells, so they penetrate deeper into your um, skin layer, therefore moisturizing the skin better. So anyways, I use this, but some people could be allergic to nuts, so do watch out for that. Next I used was glycerin, and the reason I use this is glycerin is basically sugars, and sugars make the, soft, the skin really, really soft, and this is a liquid form of it, which is really, really great. Sometimes what I like to add, as well as um, the glycerin and the oil in there, is some vitamin E, which is incredible for the skin. It is actually quite anti-aging. So, and it's got a thick consistency and it's best to be mixed up with other oils when shaken about and it gives you great benefits. I don't have any because I have run out, but if you have a, a some at home, like I say, you can mix and match some ingredients that you know are great for your skin and make the super booster yourself. Now, next, obviously, I used a um, variety of essential oils. Like I say, if you have some at home, which you love and give you great benefits, add those in. The reason I recommended the geranium oil is because it is another form of anti-aging. Now, the way it works is it likes to sort of rush the blood 
um, to the cells, which helps to renew your cells in your body wherever you apply this. Don't worry, it does not make your skin or your face red, so it's not what it does. The other thing that it actually is great because it helps the cells to be so healthy, it actually helps with um, anyone who's got sort of skin breakouts, acne and things like that. It calms the inflammation by trying to make everything healthier. It does have antimicrobial and anti-inflammatory um, properties and it's, it's a great all round. Now the other one is obviously lavender and we know it's calming and it's the good old classic that everybody always goes to. These ingredients I've included are pretty much except the almond oil which you might be allergic to. Um, but these are pretty much for sort of um, all round skins. If you have a specific problem and specific uh, essential oils you, you do use, put that in there. Um, obviously I kind of have uh, normal to sort of combination skin. So for me, I'll just go for the all round, all in one. Now, one last thing before I wrap up, I just wanna um, say something. If any of you are worried that in your day-to-day -day routine that you think that the oil is make, gonna make your face oily, uh, or shiny, anything like that, don't worry. After about five minutes, all of that moisture is then consumed by the skin and you'll look absolutely wonderful. So do not be worried about mixing the oil with your moisturizer in your day-to-day -day routine, okay? So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that because that's really, really nice and simple to make and it's quick to use in your everyday routine. Like I say, you boost your facial creams using these little secret ingredients. And if you wanna get the ingredients to make this yourself from one of our Amazon links, just click any description in our videos, head over to the Amazon shop in your selected country, and this will bring up our page. Scroll down to the beauty and pampering section, click on it, and this will expand with all our products. Now you can then click on the product or you can also hover at the top right to read the description and also it'll tell you which episodes this was used in so you can refer back to make more beauty products. Just click the item and this will take you to the page where you can then add it to your basket. Next, we're going to pour in some of that glycerin. <laughs> Just squirt it on me. Bloopers. And as always, a special thanks to our VIP tier patrons. If you'd like to become a patron, then simply head over to the link in the description. That will open the page with all the membership levels where you can read what each tier level offers. Also, a special thanks to anyone who buys us a coffee. Again, the link would be in the description comments and you can have a read our bio. And if you'd like to buy us a coffee, head over to the link to buy as many coffees as you'd like and leave us a message. We love reading all the comments sent to us with the coffees. If you like this episode, then don't forget to subscribe and check out the other episodes suggested coming up on screen now. Thank you for watching and see you next time.